What is up, Obscure Mike people? Bart coming at you yet again. I'm on the Fafine K669D with a big old foam windscreen on it. And my God, it's so easy to forget how good this microphone is. But that's just part of the reason we're here. Fafine sent over the BM66 Boom Arm. Boom Arm. Boom Arm. Boom Arm. Let's take a look at it. Because of restrictions of how full my space is, that's what she said. I'm gonna not do an overhead boxing. I'm just gonna unbox it. It's a boom arm. Come on, folks. It's a boom arm. We know what it's all about. Documentation. We got a desk clamp. Heavy metal. Heavy metal. We have a little Allen wrench for tightening purposes. And we have the boom arm itself in all its glory. Look at that. For fine branding got the ball head over here but it is metal the plastic is just the frame around the metal and it does have some channels here for your xlr cord so you can run your xlr cord hide that in there press your channel lock back in channel lock both sides seems stiff Let's hook it up and talk about it. And now we've got the boomer hooked up. You can see it coming into the shot here a little bit. It's got pretty good functionality. It, uh, it's stretched all the way from one end of my desk, which is way over here. And it's coming all the way over here from the side, which I kind of like. I love their other boomer because it goes under my monitor and I have full range across the whole spectrum. So that's still going to be my favorite, but for somebody that wants a scissor style boomer, especially one that looks really good on camera, cause that's kind of out of the way jutting in from there. Whereas my other one, you know, I get a lot more on camera, but that's because of the way I have it set up. But this is definitely a great alternative to the road PSA, whatever the heck that's called. This is a very, very good alternative to that. I like it a lot. Blocked out some of my light there. That's okay. We'll just put it back. It's going to be a dark one. But fine. Uh, you know, boomerms are now their specialty too. I love the ball head at the end of these things. Currently going to run you about $64.99 on Amazon. Link in the description. I'll link up the description uh, with a link. I'll link up the, yep, that's what I said. I'll put the link for this in the description as well. Because as far as podcast, broadcast, YouTube, TikTok, those kind, you know, a microphone just to get you sounding better, this K669D is and apparently always will be fantastic for the money. This thing is like 40 bucks or less routinely all the time. And it literally provides me one of my favorite sounds for this style of video. I think it sounds fantastic. The boomer is really good quality. It's beefy looking. It's not just your typical thin and minuscule boom arm. It is pretty good. I would recommend it. I still like the other one a little better for my purposes, but it just comes down to, do you want a scissor style or do you want an under monitor style? Like the one I've got, this is way easier to adjust than this one here. Um, but once I get it set, I don't need much in the adjustment department. That's what she might've said. BM 66 is out of here. I've got something coming up real soon too. For fine set over the M9, which is a wireless clip on lav system. And I opened it and was pleasantly surprised at something included in the box, which would cost you a pretty penny on Amazon. So I'm really excited about this one. I've, I'm really into these little wireless sets. They're just fun when you're doing TikTok content and stuff, which I've kind of leaned into a little bit here lately. These things are lifesavers as far as giving you just decent audio. Hopefully this will be another home run by Fafine, who is pretty much full of them. I know the Fafine love runs deep, but we're talking budget gear for a channel like this. This is budget gear at the highest level. And that's just what Fafine does. Thanks for sending it over. I'll see you folks on the next one. Pretty excited about this. Obscure mics. Peace out.